Ties between Canada and China have been in the doldrums for quite some time over the arrest of Huawei executive Meng Wanzhou, who is the daughter of Huawei founder Ren Zhengfei. Now, a Vancouver judge has ruled that the US fraud charges against Meng fulfilled the Canadian extradition requirement of double criminality. That is, the impugned act is a crime in Canada too. This puts the Huawei executive one step closer to being extradited to the USA for violating trade sanctions on Iran. Adding further to the soaring tensions is Canada's condemnation of the national security law in Hong Kong with which the Xi Jinping regime will take away whatever freedom the semi-autonomous region still enjoys. All these developments in Canada have triggered a knee-jerk reaction from Beijing which has accused Canada of acting as an accomplice of the US in a grave political incident. And very subtly, Beijing has threatened a trade war against Canada to the point that Canadian businesses are already preparing for the worst. The CCP mouthpiece Global Times has published a report titled Growing Uncertainties in Canada Raise Alarm for Chinese Companies. The report goes on to state, it will be increasingly challenging for Canada to seek a balance between the world's two largest economies, adding uncertainties to China-Canada economic and trade ties. This is basically a threat from Beijing. Meng Wangcho had made the application against extradition on the basis of double criminality rule, but with the scrapping of her application, she is now staring right into the prospect of being extradited to the United States. This has led to the Chinese embassy releasing a strongly worded statement that read, China hereby expresses strong dissatisfaction and firm opposition to this decision. With the Trump administration already deciding to block Huawei from semiconductor supplies and the United Kingdom deciding to form the D10 Group, a group of 10 democracies to take on Huawei's 5G technology, the telecom major is already staring at very bleak prospects. The latest judicial ruling could prove to be the last straw for the Chinese telecom giant due to which Beijing has already started threatening Canada with a trade war of the kind that is already waged on Australia. China's foreign ministry itself has issued veiled threats and has stated that Canada should immediately correct its mistake, release Meng and ensure her safe return to China at an early date so as to avoid any continuous harm to China-Canada relations. Therefore, it is clear that if Canada doesn't correct its mistake according to Chinese perception, Beijing will initiate economic action against Canada and this becomes crystal clear from what the Global Times has also said. In another report that takes a dig at Canada over the latest setback to the Huawei CFO, Global Times has quoted a former senior trade official and an executive council member of the China Society for WTO Studies as saying that the ruling will make the bilateral relationship worse than ever. The report also quotes another expert close to China's Commerce Ministry as saying, Canada has been under US pressure since the beginning, or it could have benefited from the trade war between the world's two largest economies. At the same time, former Canadian Security Intelligence Service Director Richard Fadden has suggested that there could be more retaliatory detentions of Canadian nationals in China. Since December 2018, Two Canadians, Michael Kovrig, a former diplomat, and Michael Spower, a businessman, have been kept under arbitrary detention by Beijing. China had detained them on accusations of espionage as a retaliation against the arrest of the Huawei CFO in Canada. Fadden has said that the easiest form of retaliation for China could be aimed at other Canadian nationals in the country and he added that Canadian nationals are at some risk that they may join the two Michaels in Chinese detention. Making things worse, in September 2019, Canada had arrested a top intelligence officer who was potentially spying for Chinese intelligence. These developments can play a heavily deteriorating role in Canada-China relations. But this hasn't stopped Canada from signing a statement condemning China over the imposition of the national security law in Hong Kong. The statement reads, Direct imposition of national security legislation on Hong Kong by the Beijing authorities, 
would curtail the Hong Kong people's liberties and in doing so dramatically erode the autonomy and the system that made it so prosperous. Despite fears that Justin Trudeau might go soft on China, Canada has maintained a calculated stance thus far. However, Canadian authorities must keep pushing for the release of the abducted Canadian nationals in China.